There are mysteries all around us, and we are fascinated by what we cannot understand. Inexplicable phenomena are discovered every day, keeping our curiosity piqued and the prospect of knowing the world around us a foreign concept. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be exploring three interesting discoveries, exploring the vast dark corners of the universe, its ancient galaxies, and the possibility for life on Mars. Aliens may have observed civilizations emerge on Earth. Earth is perfectly positioned so that at least 1,715 nearby star systems are in view. It stands to reason that if there has been any extraterrestrial life on just one of those systems, they may have witnessed the birth of early human civilizations. These nearby star systems make up the Earth Transit Zone, or ETZ for short, and with over 300 new stars entering the ETZ within the next 5,000 years, the possibilities for alien contact only seem to increase. Not too long ago, the European Space Agency began a new mission to explore this possibility. The agency successfully launched the Gaia mission, which aims to create a 3D map of our galaxy. Gaia has discovered something truly incredible. The agency found that 75 of the closest stars in the ETZ have been touched by our radio signals. Since humans began transmitting radio signals about 100 years ago, the study found that our radio waves would have washed over them already. According to Lisa Kultenegger, the director of the Carl Sagan Institute at Cornell University. Kaltenegger claims that these selected 75 stars are of the most interesting subset of stars for uncovering extraterrestrial intelligence. The possibility for contact with aliens has always seemed to be a sort of fantasy, but it is becoming more of an attainable goal. If extraterrestrial life does exist among these nearby star systems, it is possible that they could view Earth and even detect our life on the planet. Earth's most telling signs of life are given in the form of atmospheric oxygen and methane. Due to the necessity for oxygen and methane to react to form carbon dioxide and water, the two gases would need to be produced in large quantities for life to be possible. The only sound explanation for atmospheric oxygen and methane is the presence of life, according to Kaltenegger. Astronomers are always on the hunt for these telltale signs of life on faraway exoplanets. These gases can be spotted by monitoring the stars that each planet orbits. When a planet passes between the star and our viewpoint, the star's light dims. The extent to which it dims gives us a great deal of information. By analysing the features of the star as it dims, it will determine the chemical composition of the passing planet's atmosphere. In December 2020, the Gaia mission discovered some breaking news. A report was finalised which contained a complete accounting for the movements of all ETZ stars through time. For the first time, we could take the movement of everything around us into account, Kaltenegger said. What Guy gives you is the movement of the star over a couple of years. It has been found that within a constrained time frame, the movement of stars can be intricately predicted. Unless they encounter a gravitational anomaly like a black hole, she said. So with the new Gaia data, Kaltenegger and her team could rewind the movement of nearby stars to essentially peer back in time. This allowed them to check where the stars were located 5,000 years ago and whether they provided a view of Earth at that time. They used the same method to look 5,000 years into the future. This allows astronomers to understand what stars have truly been within reach of us and which ones may have felt our radio waves. With this new information, we can begin upgrading our search for extraterrestrial life. Solar Tornadoes Captured on the Sun's Surface Since the Sun is so incredibly important to life on Earth, it is under constant surveillance by scientists. And because of this, you might think that surprising occurrences would be rare. But the invisible magnetic field that bends the charged gas and plasma around the Sun has revealed some strange phenomenon. The Solar Dynamics Observatory, or SDO, is run by NASA and is used to capture high-definition images of the Sun from space. 
The surface of the sun is always bending and twisting from the magnetic energy generated on its surface, but recently scientists have noticed an odd phenomenon that appears to be a gigantic solar tornado rotating across the surface. The plasma, which usually flares and spits from the surface with no apparent pattern, was rotating and spinning in a manner that greatly resembles how the debris and trash swirls in a tornado. This supports the theory that the field around the sun generates solar weather by creating unevenly heated and charged particles that cause currents and other examples of atmospheric variability. These solar tornadoes are not common. Only a few a year are recorded. But when they do occur, they are impressive to behold. In 2015, a gigantic plume of swirling superheated plasma raged across the surface of the sun for 40 hours, and every minute of it was recorded and analyzed by the Solar Dynamics Observatory spacecraft technology. The temperature of the ultraviolet plasma peaked at over 2.8 million degrees Celsius. In 2014, one of these mammoth solar tornadoes spun so violently it spun off the surface of the sun and dissipated into space. One of the largest recorded solar tornadoes was documented in 2011 by the Solar Dynamics Observatory to be about five times the size of the Earth and spinning at a rate of 186,000 miles per hour. The solar flares travelled in a twisting, spiralling pattern up off the surface of the Sun to about 200,000 kilometres into the solar atmosphere. Analysis of solar tornadoes is important because they are driven by the powerful magnetic field of the Sun and usually occur at the same time as massive blasts of solar plasma called coronal mass ejections. It isn't known whether solar tornadoes trigger coronal mass ejections, only that they generally occur in conjunction with each other. But studying the solar tornadoes could likely give us a better understanding of the coronal mass ejections, which are known to disrupt our lives on planet Earth by interfering with GPS signals, radio communications and power grids. The Solar Dynamics Observatory is part of a highly funded NASA initiative called Living with a Star that seeks to gain a greater understanding of our Sun and the effects of solar variability and weather patterns on our planetary life through the study of such phenomena as these solar tornadoes. NASA is struggling to save the Hubble Space Telescope NASA is fighting to save its famous space telescope Hubble after an unexpected computer failure. The prized telescope has been offline for over a week as astronomers and physicists scramble to fix the issue. Hubble launched successfully in 1990. The world-renowned innovation began capturing the universe in revolutionary detail. The observatory has worked hard since its inception to capture images of some of the most awe-inspiring sights. Through Hubble, we have had the opportunity to discover new moons around Pluto, witness births and deaths of stars, and track two unidentified interstellar objects as they zipped through our solar system. Hubble has allowed astronomers to unlock the secrets of our universe. It has even granted us the ability to calculate the age and expansion of the universe itself. It has spotted galaxies over 13.4 billion light-years away essentially letting us look into the past. On June 13th, this wonder of science took an unexpected turn. The telescope's payload computer suddenly went out of operation. The computer has held strong since 1980 and has been the foundation of the Hubble ever since. It essentially works as the brain of the observatory. It controls and monitors every instrument and gadget on the spacecraft. When it stopped working, NASA shifted into overdrive to fix it. NASA tried and failed to restart the computer on June 14th. A few days later, they tried again to bring both the current module and the backup online. All attempts failed. While this poses a serious complication, Hubble has not been free of issues in its 30-year lifespan. The telescope has gone through many troubleshoots and upgrades. This is not the first time it has glitched or needed an upgrade in this year alone. In March, a software error sent the observatory out of order, but within a few days, it was resolved without much of a problem. Astronauts have visited Hubble to replace old parts and fix problems on five occasions since 1990. The most recent mission was in 2009, 
two failing instruments were repaired and the telescope was upgraded with a brand new computer, new insulation, new batteries, spectrograph and a new camera. By maintaining the telescope with the special care it has received, it has continued to conduct groundbreaking science for 30 years. However, the beloved Hubble will not be a permanent fixture. During the recent maintenance mission, NASA astronauts installed a device intended to push Hubble into Earth's atmosphere when it comes time to decommission the telescope. As the observatory falls toward Earth, it will burn up and essentially be destroyed by the atmospheric pressures it will face. NASA plans to launch a more sophisticated space telescope into orbit as early as November 2021. The new observatory, James Webb Space Telescope, will have the capacity to see 15 times further than Hubble. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.